One of my subscribers uh, or viewers asked me to make a video about my specific experience uh, with regards to uh, well, female male violence. Uh, I have to say I was and still am somewhat reluctant to talk about it. It's not exactly like <laughs> derive pleasure from it, but um, I thought about it and I thought maybe I could integrate it into a bigger video, as it were, about, uh, well, the real dangers of uh, relationships with women. And what I want to say, basically, is uh, after I tell a little bit about my story, that particular story at least, that, uh, you know, a relationship, the, the heartache is bad enough, but it could be a lot, lot worse. Now, many, many years ago, I was in a relationship with uh, a female who turned out to be violent. She always had a temper. And um, fast forwarding towards the end of the relationship, you know, she would throw things and what have you. Uh, she used to hit me. She hit me enough times that I went to the police at the time. They didn't take it very seriously and nothing happened. Well, there you go. When you actually complain to the police about something like that and you're a guy, forget about it. It escalated to the point where uh, she literally put a, a metal cord wire around my neck, I tried to when I was sleeping, and uh, it, uh, it was painful, and I uh, wrestled her uh, off, and it was this big scuffle, uh, pulled out a knife, tried to cut my, my dick off, and lots of bad stuff. Uh, then the police involvement was unavoidable. Now, uh, I was lucky, actually, because I had these indentations in my neck for quite some time afterwards. And so the police actually bought my, my story, as it were, if you want to even call it a story. I mean, it's pretty scary stuff. Anyway, I don't want to talk too much about that. But I just want to say that this, uh, <laughs> this illustrates uh, the, the very real point, one, that if you're in a relationship and it goes south, there can be a lot, a lot, lot worse consequences than you know you merely suffering from heartbreak or you know being able to deal with shit or you know not being able to concentrate on stuff and being sad. I mean that's a given anyway in most cases, but um, of course it can be a lot, lot worse. Now I haven't been uh, <laughs> the victim of this, but I did have a friend at some point in time who. Uh, whose ex would inflict uh, wounds on herself and then claim that he did it. And uh, he actually got in trouble for that. Um, and uh, it went this big process until the truth finally resurfaced. And it cost him a lot of time and energy. And I don't personally know anyone, but uh, we need only think about false race rape accusations. And... Um, all the rest. So, what I want to say here is uh, there are some potentially very dire consequences of being in a relationship with a woman. And I don't just mean it not working out, which it won't anyway. Uh, because, uh, let's face it, society is stacked against you. Doesn't matter how good a guy you are, how honorable you might be, whatever your track record might be as a person. Almost invariably, society and consequently the authorities who operate within society will take the side of the woman and believe the woman and not believe you. Uh, you know, I remember back then, and uh, when when I wasn't believed. I mean, not so much that I wasn't believed, it just wasn't taken seriously. That was my impression, really. I said, you know, so what? Eh, your girlfriend whacks you around a bit, doesn't really matter. Um, well, eventually it did. I mean, uh, could have ended up like uh, Mr. Bobbitt or the most recently, the, God, what was his name? The psycho bitch who cut his dick off and put it in a trash compactor. Um, and, uh, well, well yeah. so it goes without saying that there, there actually are real dangers, real physical dangers, as well as legal and potential, potentially life-ruining dangers uh, to being in a relationship. And, uh, you know, 
<laughs> you know, caveat, uh, caveat emptor, I mean, let the buyer beware. Uh, being, being in a relationship has these potential consequences. And the problem is, as I said, no matter how good a guy you might be, um, if you don't think this shit can happen to you, either have violence inflicted on you by a female or the female using deception to convince external people, particularly authorities, over the power to arrest you or throw you in jail, um, that if you don't believe that a female could do that, uh, I, I assure you that they can, uh, no matter how sweet you might think they are, and uh, you should really be aware of that. Because, let's face it, even if, let's say you have, you're in a relationship and someone, you know, puts false uh, rape accusations up on you, well, it doesn't matter even if they end up turning, turning out to be false in the sense that you know, no one believes her or they do a rigorous investigation, they find out SBS. Your life could potentially be ruined anyway. So that's all I want to say on the subject. Um, and I didn't really want to talk too much about that, but I, I wanted to do a favor for one of my viewers because he apparently might be going through some similar stuff. If you happen to watch this, I don't recall your name. Um, I just remember you commenting. Uh, you know, get the hell out of that relationship now. That I mean, now, if you watch this, I'm telling you, dude, get out of the relationship now. Fucking move to a different city, move to a different country. But if you think your your girlfriend or partner or whatever is, is trying to kill you, leave now. Just go. Uh, go anywhere. Just get the hell out of there. Um, thanks for watching.